Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I did this super bold look, yellow, red, purple, ombre situation. I never know what to call, call my looks. And then I did an ombre lip. Um, I also did false lashes. I went a little out of my comfort zone. I hate applying false lashes. I really just could never see myself doing it on a daily basis, but I went for this full face look. Um, tried a couple new products. Definitely tried some new techniques. Um, makeup is makeup. So, I mean, you can do, you can use any product for anything, in my opinion. Um, just have to be patient and, I mean, just test your skills, try new things. I did that in this video. So, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe below. I would really appreciate it so, so much. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so for more intense eye looks, I like to start off with nothing on my face. That way if I do get any fallout or if I want to do more of a cut crease or just make a really nice clean line for the wing, I don't have anything on my face to wipe away to worry about that I'm going to ruin. So starting with a blank face, I'm going to start by using the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply this and I'm going to put this all over my eyelids. So I'm going to primarily be using two different palettes, one being the Urban Decay Electric Palette and the other, the Anastasia um, lipstick. What is this called? Just a lip palette. Okay, so just to kind of set a little bit of the color, or the, whatchamacallit, the paint pot, I'm just gonna take the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. I'll later use this to um, bronze and contour my face, but I'm just going to take um, one of the setting powders in here um, so I'm just going to take this one right here and just set my eye with it. it smells like chocolate. It's so good. It's so good. Fun fact is chocolate is actually an antioxidant. So, and what antioxidants do is prevent free radicals in the air or pollutants from damaging your skin. So by any powder that's infused with cocoa powder, such as the, a lot of the Tarte palettes are actually infused with cocoa powder now, as well as the Too Faced um, bronzers, it's an antioxidant for your skin, so it'll actually help to protect your skin, so you're getting a little bit of skincare benefits in there, too. So, that's cool. Okay, so now that um, my eye is set, the work begins. So, I'm going to go in with, like the smallest bit of Savage, which is the pink shadow in the electric palette. And just put this in the crease. And I'm using a Pro Crease um, Sephora 10 brush. Like the smallest bit, like tap that baby off. And just going to apply that in the crease. So you can see a little bit of pink, but not, actually you can't like even see that at all. Okay. All right. So I'm going to dip in with Slow Burn and Savage and tap back and forth again, tap, tap, tap. So now using a little bit of this coral shade right here and tap back and forth between those and just slightly building that pigmentation and all in that crease like all over Ooh. okay so now we've got a little bit of pink in our crease just a little bit just a little so now I'm going to use urban the purple shade right here and I'm gonna start packing that on my outer V and I'm actually just gonna use like a so it's kind of like a crease brush, but it's a little bit more dense, almost a pencil brush, like somewhere in between that. 
Um, so it's a little bit more dense, but I'm still going to be able to diffuse the color. So I'm just going to pick up that color and again start packing that on the crease. And I want to keep that pretty low too. So the majority of the color is right on the outside, right on that outer V. And if you do have any harshness, or like you get the color where you don't want, just take a dry, just take that same brush that we used for the crease and just blend it away. Just keep blending. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm slowly like bringing this up. You could use tape for this if you wanted to, but I guess I should have thought of that sooner. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I'm actually gonna dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette, her original, and I'm gonna take this deep purple right here. And just really, because this isn't as like dark as I want it to be, so I'm just going to take a little bit and deepen it up right there. And I'm going to use the Anastasia brush that comes in all those palettes, um, any Anastasia palette, and just take the more dense side of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some makeup remover. This is just a mini travel size of the Waterproof Sephora. Um, eye makeup remover and I'm gonna take a q-tip and clean up and make that a nice sharp wing and I'm gonna use the Sephora um, do-it-all cotton swabs so these actually have like a round edge and a point so I'm gonna use the um, round edge first and then the point to clean it up So now taking a Morphe R39 brush, I'm going to soften up those edges right there, just completely blank, like there's nothing on my brush, and just kind of diffuse that to make sure that there's no harsh blend. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take the Anastasia Lip Kit and I'm going to take a Morphe M429 brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the white color and a little bit of the yellow color from the palette and I'm just gonna make like a concoction on the back of my hand. I'm gonna start applying that color to my lid and do a sort of um, cut crease with that. And I'm gonna bring that all the way in the center of my lid. So I'm just gonna start that right here. I wish I had a yellow cream color for this because it would be a lot easier, but you know, gotta improvise when you have like a vision in your head and you really just want to do something, so. Okay, so while that's still tacky, I'm going to take, I have this yellow eyeshadow. It's not like super yellow and these aren't crazy pigmented, so by laying down a base that's sticky, this is the L'Oreal Flamboyant um, HIP Bright Shadow Duo. So I'm going to use that yellow one and just pack that on my lid. For that completely dries, I'm going to take a small um, Morphe E36 brush and take some more of that yellow gold pigment and I'm going to softly blend these harsh, harsh edges that we have right here. That way everything looks nice and smooth and diffused. So we're going to do the same thing to the other eye.
Okay, so using my Vera Mona um, color switch from Sephora, I'm going to clean off that Anastasia brush, or if you have another one, you can just use a different one to get rid of the purple pigment on there. This is a lifesaver when you don't want to clean your brushes. Okay, so no pigment. Good to go. This shade right here, Slow Burn. I'm going to pick that up on the denser side. And I'm going to start packing that on right here where the purple and the yellow meet. So we're just going to diffuse that so it's one gradual color. So take your time with this step and really um, blend it in. And if you need to go back in with that yellow color, you can always do so. So what I'm going to do is just stay more towards the purple. So the red really pops, but also diffuse it into the yellow as well. So again, just really take your time with this step and build up the color. Okay, so there you have it. So there are the three colors. So it goes from purple to red to yellow. It's a nice gradient effect. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, do the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal, uh, or I'm sorry, Maybelline, um, Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. And I'm going to be taking a Morphe Y6 brush. Make sure you blend down the neck, that's super important. Okay, so foundation is on, so I'm going to go in with um, the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Light Warm, and I'm just going to cover up those under eye bags. Then taking my Morphe sponge, I'm just going to blend that out. Then using a Morphe Y11 brush, I'm going to take the Kat Von D setting powder. Alright, so now we're going to contour and brighten up the face. So I'm going to take go back into that Tarte palette right here, and I'm going to use the shade Enhance and Halo. These are the two um, light shades right here, and I'm just going to brighten up underneath my eye. Then using a Pro Blending um, Large 27 um, blending brush, I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit. I'm going to use um, Princess Cut. That's this cooler tone um, shade in the palette. <clears throat> And I'm going to go back in with the Morphe and just blend it all together. Alright, so using the Morphe M536 brush, I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to take Princess Cut, the same cut that we just used to contour our nose. These are super pigmented! Then for blush and highlight, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona um, Blush Diamond and Blush Palette. This one is in number one, Daria. I freaking love this thing. Like, Natasha Denona palettes are so expensive, but so worth the money. Like, the pigmentation, the quality is amazing. And I don't ever see myself going through that. Like, maybe five years down the road after this palette has expired, I'll go through it. But I'm going to be using the powder blush, very light handed because again these are so 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 pigmented. And I'm going to be using a Morphe E4 and I'm just going to put, just tap it right above the contour and apply a little blush. And I like to bring this all the way up. Like, I like to do my bronzer, blush, and highlight like Neapolitan ice cream. So I always do the chocolate, the bronzer on the bottom, the strawberry, um, the blush, 
in the middle and then vanilla which would be the highlight on top so a nice gradient gradual effect but I think that's a really easy way to remember bronzer blush and highlight as Neapolitan ice cream and that's usually the order that I applied in as well so this is my favorite part my absolute favorite part literally this is probably like one of my favorite highlights of all time the camera like literally is not even doing it justice it's like glitter powder but it is so fine it's not glitter it is just like this beautiful veil of shimmer so you can use it as like a highlighter topper um or by itself i'm actually going to be mixing glow extreme and the diamond powder so these two end powders right here this one right here is a cream which i don't i really don't like cream products i'm not a huge fan of them so i'm just going to be mixing these be using a real techniques i'm not even sure what this brush oh this is a setting powder brush but i love using this for for highlight are you are you ready for this are you ready i'll give you a minute okay like it's so good and you really can't see the glitter like it just looks like wet like a highlighter on your face and on my cupid's bow all right so now we're gonna go ahead and do the brows Okay, so brows are on. Um, I just used the Anastasia Dip Brow and then I took a little bit of concealer and cleaned it up so it's nice and um, sharp. So what I'm going to do I thought would be kind of fun to highlight the brow bone is I'm going to use the Alchemist palette from um, Kat Von D and I'm going to take that purple shade Ultraviolet Amethyst and use that to highlight my brow bone. I just used this is actually the brush that comes in the um, Urban Decay electric palette for the lower lash line I actually want to keep that pretty simple I want like the the top of the eye to be in the main kind of attraction so I'm actually gonna go back into the Tarte um, palette that we used earlier and again I'm going to take a Morphe E36 that bullet crease brush and dip back into princess cut and use that to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm also just going to bring that up and soften um, soften underneath the purple so it's not a super harsh edge. So now I am going to do some winged liner. I'm going to be using the NYC um, eyeliner. This is a felt, felt up or no, it's a brush. And I just find that this is the easiest winged, or this is the easiest liner for me personally to use. One done. So let's hope we can make the other one match. Okay, so winged liner is on. That's probably as even as we're going to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little mascara. Using the Milk Makeup um, Kush Mascara, I'm just going to apply a couple coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Alright, now I'm going to do something I really don't like doing, but I need to get out of my comfort zone. And that is apply fake lashes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it my best shot. Okay, so that actually like really does make a difference. The, I'm using the um, Ardell Wispies. Look like that. Okay, so lashes are on. I mean, this definitely does make the the look more dramatic, but I don't know. You tell me false lashes or just mascara all right so now we're going to go back into the Anastasia and we're going to finish look with our lips okay so I'm going to use this deep shade right here um, and put this all over my lips I 
I love like smushing your lips together because it literally just does the work for you like my lips are pretty much done and all I did was smush them together okay and then you just clean up the cupid's uh done I kind of want to do like an ombre lip though so I think I'm going to take a little bit of that white and just tap that in the center and see how that looks Okay, so I'm just going to go back in and bring that red in just a little bit. Okay, so that completes this look. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this full face um, and using false lashes. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. And see you next time.